We've seen Arsenal, we've seen Man United, and we've seen the champions Chelsea. Now it's time to take a look at how Pep Guardiola's Manchester City side might line up next season. Let's start with an easy one, the keeper. Guardiola announced his presence at City last summer by walking in and booting Joe Hart out on his ass immediately. Chilean number one Claudio Bravo was supposed to replace the England number one, but he failed to impress in the Premier League, saving his best for the major stage of the Confederations Cup. Now it's the next international keeper's turn to try and fill the empty gloves at the Etihad. City have just snapped up Brazilian stopper Edison for £35 million. He's just won the league and cup double with Benfica and his price tag makes him the most expensive keeper in Premier League history. You don't spend that kind of dough on a bench warmer. Now, Guardiola loves a fullback. Pace and versatility out wide in the defence are key to his way of playing. But he's got more keepers than fullbacks at the moment after he went and gave three of the world's best the sack. Zabaleta, Gael Clichy and Bakary Sanya have all been told that their time in Sky Blue is up. While Danny Alves' name was banded about quite a bit in relation to this problem of Pep's and as much as we would have loved to have seen the Barca boys back together in the Premier League, we think there's a better choice closer to home. Kyle Walker, who has apparently fallen out of favour at Spurs, has the pace and the killer instinct that Guardiola is after. At 27, he could still have his best years ahead of him. City can definitely afford his wages. And he's shown throughout his career that he's capable of taking on bigger and bigger challenges. We reckon Walker would be an auspicious addition to the City squad and a possible cornerstone of what could be a title challenging side. Back in March, Guardiola's high hopes for his first season at Man City were shot right out of the sky by AS Monaco. The French champions proved to be unexpectedly tricky guests in the round of 16 in the Champions League and ever since they knocked City out, Pep has been brooding and waiting to take revenge. Now that he's got a cliche shaped hole to fill, he'd love to get his hands on their left back, Benjamin Mondi. The 22 year old made 39 appearances for Monaco last season and provided no fewer than 11 assists. That's exactly the kind of attacking prowess that Guardiola is after. Moving into the centre of defence and there's still plenty of building for City to do next season. But the transfer window won't last forever and so far it doesn't look like they'll be getting their hands on Marquinhos from PSG, Bonucci from Juventus or Virgil van Dijk from Southampton. So with that in mind, we think that Vincent Kompany will be able to reclaim his place if he can keep himself fit. He is still the captain after all, and after his minor revival at the end of last season, there's every chance he's won back the coach's trust. On top of that, it's a World Cup year, and very probably the 31-year-old Belgian's last chance to go out with a bang. Alongside him, we could have Nicolas Otamendi, but we reckon the Argentinian is going to have to make way for John Stones. Stones wasn't exactly a rock at the back last year. Oh, snap! But with Otamendi out of the way and a cool-headed company alongside him, the youngster could have a much better season. At 47 million quid, he was the second most expensive defender of all time. The fact that chucking him would make Pep look a plonker is reason enough to be sure that Stones will feature next season. Now, let's take a look at the midfield. While Pep's porous and poorly manned defence gives him a problem of finding somebody to play at the back, Going forward, he can't find anybody to drop. There are only 11 spots to fill, and that unfortunately means for some that there are always going to be some big names on the bench at the Etihad. Let's take a look at who's in and who's out. It's a fairly safe bet to say that the devious, devilish, double-dealing Mr Fabian Delph is going to have a tough job getting into the team. Even Yaya Toure is likely to find the dressing room somewhat crowded. That's because Gundogan is marching back into centre mid. The 26-year-old has been out since December, but it looks like he'll be fit for the start of the season. He was Guardiola's first signing for City, and that means he's another one who's likely to be a permanent fixture as the manager puts together the team that he really wants. Next up, left mid. The second biggest snake in the Premier League behind Delft is, of course, Raheem Sterling. 
and we think next season might provide plenty of time for this delightful pair to enjoy each other's company on the bench. Sterling wasn't bad last season, but here's the thing, he's not Guardiola's man. This is the first season that the manager really gets to field a team that he's created, not one that he's inherited, and that, ladies and gentlemen, will be music to the ears of one Leroy Sane. Pep went after him last summer, got him, played him, and liked him. In a troubled and unsettled season, Sane was a revelation. The former Schalke man will be looking to keep his impressive development up next year, knowing that Germany coach Joachim Löw is watching closely with Russia 2018 in mind. Sterling might hope to get a look in on the other wing, but there's pretty stiff competition out there too. Or there might be. Not, of course, if Arsene Wenger has his way. Yes, we're putting the man, the legend, Alexis Sanchez out on the right for City. There might well be a furious Frenchman in Islington doing his best to deny the reports and who knows how much the Chilean journalists who say that Sanchez is packing his bags actually know, but with the ex-Barcelona man apparently missing Guardiola's pep talks, there's no doubting that a sky blue Sanchez would be a formidable addition to the Man City dressing room. They both want trophies and they've won them together in the past. Arsene won't be happy, but it wouldn't be the first L he's ever had to hold. Back in Manchester, Pep's team is coming together nicely. The bad news is that he's going to have a problem keeping all of his high-paid players happy. The good news is that that's a rather nice problem to have. Kevin De Bruyne has dazzled since he came to Manchester back in 2015, and with six goals and 20 assists last season, he made a good case for his right to keep his place in the side. Guardiola, however, is obviously a very hard man to please. Either that, or he spent £43 million on Bernardo Silva just to get back at Monaco. We reckon it's about 50-50. Silva certainly impressed as Monaco rolled over the sky blue in the Champions League, and Pep apparently decided there and then that he wanted Silva at City. But Silva is already at City. It's silver squared in the attack as Guardiola chases some silverware. With 306 appearances, David Silva is a true veteran at the Etihad. It's hard to imagine that his place is in any danger. He hardly missed a match last season, and this fan's favourite has still got plenty of legs for a 31-year-old. With technical skill and creativity in buckets, Silva is likely to continue getting plenty of playing time under Pep this coming season. There's one space left to fill in our lineup and plenty of talent vying for it. Wilfred Boney, poor man's Lukaku. He's never been up to the task at City. Nolito, Nalito. He fell out of favour with Guardiola a while back. Ianecho, Ianext. He's on his way out. No, there's only one man to lead the line for City. Of course, it's got to be Sergio Aguero. With 20 goals again last season, Aguero remains one of the best strikers in the Premier League and arguably the world. Gabriel Jesus, for sure, will be breathing down Aguero's neck. He's made a big impression since arriving in January. But we think if City want to fight their way back to the top next year, Aguero has got to be a central part of Pep's plan. Now, dear citizens, dear football fans, what are you saying? Did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Who do you think Man City are going to need next season? As always, let us know below and see you next time.